Alright, so this time we're going to be covering 2.1, or this week we'll be covering 2.1, and so we're getting into some new territory here. Um, we're talking about polynomials, um, and before we start talking about polynomials and what we do with them, let's try and define some of the terms that we'll be using, okay? So first is a monomial. A monomial is a number the number, a variable, or the product of a number and one variable, and one or more, one or more variables. With whole number exponents. Okay, so that's important. Whole number exponents. So when we talk about that, first of all, we can say some examples are numbers, so that could be just like any number. That, that could be one, that could be any real number. That could be two-thirds, stuff like that. And then a variable, that could be x, that could be y, that could be z. Um, and then when we have both, it could be 3x, it could be 3 half x, 3 half y, right? And it could be 3 half y, z, that could be a monomial. Um, but um, it, like it says, it says that it has to be a whole number exponent, meaning that examples of things that are not um, monomials is like 1 over x because this is equal to x to the negative 1 right so that doesn't count as a monomial if you see some a term like this it's not a monomial okay um, if you see uh, x to the 3 over 2 or you see the square root of x these are also not monomials they don't count as monomials okay so all these that I have listed here though, these are monomials. These are examples of what a monomial is. And monomial just means one, right? Mono is a is a term, it's the language for one. Okay? So it just means one of them. Um, and the degree of the monomial is the sum of the exponents of all of all variables constants have no degree constants have no degree so for example Let's say you had something like 3x squared, z cubed, and y to the fifth. Well, the degree of x is 2, the degree of z is 3, and the degree of y is um, 5. Uh, the degree of 3 is 0. Um, so if you add up the is if, if you take the sum of all the degrees of the exponent of the exponents then this would be degree 10 okay and remember that this is right here this is one monomial right um th this doesn't count as one two three four monomials this is one monomial because they're all being multiplied together Okay, so now to polynomial. A polynomial is a a monomial or a sum of monomials. Monomials. So a monomial is it is counts as a polynomial. But then also, a polynomial can be a sum of monomials. For example, you could see 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now this would count as a, a polynomial. This is a polynomial. 
because um, it's a sum of three different monomials. This is a monomial, this is a monomial, this is a monomial. It's a sum of three monomials, so that's a polynomial. Okay? A ball, uh, binomial is a sum of difference or two terms. This is a sum or difference between two terms. For example, we have uh, this over here, a binomial. You can see that we have two terms. We have two monomials. We have a 5x and a 2, and that's the sum of them. Difference would be 5x minus 2. This is the difference between two, two terms. Okay, So by is the the word for two right so we had up here this was a monomial that means one by means two okay so this is an example of a binomial then you'll have trinomials like this right here where you see that we have three terms some are difference between three terms okay um, and then of course you'll just have polynomials polynomials is just a, a way to refer to multiple terms Okay. So again, over here, trinomial, it's the same thing as bi binomial, but the sum or difference between three terms. Okay. All right, now the degree of a polynomial this is the highest the highest degree of all the monomials highest degree of all the monomials so remember how we talked about the degree of the monomials right up here the degree of the monomials so the degree of the polynomial is the highest degree of the monomial, okay? Um, and I'll talk about, I'll give an example in just a second about that one. But first let's talk about standard form. So standard form is how we write polynomials. Um, and how we write polynomials is, so write polynomials with um, term descending with terms descending highest to lowest degree okay so look over here on the right side we have a polynomial with four terms, right? 2x cubed, x squared, 5x, and 12. So four terms. So this is a polynomial, okay? And you can see that the degree of the first one is 3, right? The degree is 3 of the first one. The degree of the second is 2. The degree of the third is 1. And again, this does not have a degree. So you can see that it's in descending order from lo from highest to lowest. So that is it how you that's how you write a polynomial in standard form. Okay? The leading coefficient is the coefficient with the leading term. Okay, so right here, this is your leading term, right? So the coefficient next to it, the number next to it, is the leading coefficient. So in this case, it would be 2, right? And our leading term is 2x cubed. Okay, so all this is pretty simple, right? Okay, so let's do some practice right here. So in exercise 1 through 8, find the degree of the monomial. Okay, right here, we have negative 6s. 
So there are, this is one monomial, right? It's not the sum or difference between multiple monomials. So it's not a polynomial. This is just a monomial. Um, and the coefficient doesn't have de a degree, but s does have a degree. And it's to the degree of 1, OK? So the degree is 1. For 2, this would also be 1. We have a variable, right? So just one variable, and it's to the degree of 1. For number 3, this is a constant. And constants don't have degrees. So that's a 0. And then over here, we have three terms, right? Well, we have four terms. We have a negative 2. We have a, b, and c. And they're all being multiplied together. Um, but the constant doesn't have a degree. And so we just count the degree of the a, the b, and the c. And remember, by the definition of monomial, um, the degree of the monomial, that it's the sum. Okay, So that's 1, 2, and 3 because a to the 1, b to the 1, c to the 1. So this has a degree of 3. So for 5, we know 7 doesn't have a degree. x is raised to the second degree and y to the first. So the sum of the degrees is 3. For 6, we have r squared, s cubed, and then a t. So the sum of that would be 6. For 7, that would be 4, because n is to the third power, and then we have an m. And for 8, this is a constant, so it would be 0. All right. In exercise 9 through 12, write the polynomial in standard form. Identify the degree of the leading coefficient of the polynomial, then classify the polynomial by the number terms. All right, so for number 9, we have to rewrite these um, in descending order. And remember that we can change the order of these, right? We're just adding them. So this right here is our largest degree, so I'm going to write that first. This is going to be 3x squared. And then this right here is the next one. This is to the degree of 1, so plus x, and then plus 5. All right, so this is written in standard form. And um, this is going to be a trinomial, right? This is a trinomial. Um, identify the degree and the leading coefficient. This is a degree of 2. So degree 2. The leading coefficient. Leading coefficient would be 3. And then, yeah, classify the polynomial by the number of terms. Yeah, we uh, trinomial, so we already did that. <laughs> so for 10, thing is, this doesn't have an order, right? Because we're not, there's no addition and there's no subtraction between any of the terms. So this is just, this is written in standard form as it is right there, okay? Identify the degree. The degree would be 1, sorry. is 1. Alright, the leading coefficient. This is a coefficient right here, so that would be square root of 5, and this is a monomial. For 11, so we only have two terms right here, right? So this is a binomial, and to write it in standard form, we just have to switch places because this is the degree 8 and this is degree 5. So I'm going to write it 6x to the 8 plus 3x to the 5th. This is a uh, binomial to with the degree of 8. Leading coefficient. leading coefficient of 6. And this is a binomial. Two terms. For 12, 
um, to rewrite this, we have an f to the fourth. That seems to be the highest term that we have, f to the fourth. Then we have f squared. And then we have negative 2f, so minus 2f. So that's written in standard form. This is to the degree of 4. The leading coefficient is 1. leading coefficient is 1 and this is a trinomial <laughs> alright so now how can you add or subtract polynomials so if we're given two different polynomials like you see in number 4 it's asking us to find the sum or the difference between them so how can we add and subtract them okay so in order to add or subtract, adding is easy. You might have heard of the the term combine like terms. Combine like terms is very important. But before you combine like terms, I'm going to write something first. And distribute if you are if subtracting distribute the negative distribute the negative first then combine like terms alright so let's try this so whenever I say distribute the negative, sometimes you're going to have a negative right here, like we have in C. So I'll go over that in just a second. But if we have a plus right here, we don't have to worry about distributing a negative. So right here, we can just add, we can just combine like terms. So right here is an x squared, and here is a 2x squared. So that would be 3x squared. Okay? and we have a 2x here and a minus 2x there so 2x minus 2x would be 0 so those would be gone we have a negative 1 and a positive 1 well those would be gone too so then we'd be left with just 3x squared okay alright so for B we have two binomials and we're just adding them so we have 4x and x. If we're adding those together, then that's going to be 5x. Then we have 3 and negative 2. That would be plus 1. So we're just combining like terms. <laughs> now down here, we have subtraction. So whenever we subtract, we have to rewrite our, our polynomials. So over here, we still have x squared plus 2. But we have to distribute this negative inside, which means we're going to flip the signs. So instead of having positive 3x, we'll have minus 3x squared. And then we'll have minus 2x and minus 5. So that's the first thing. When you're subtracting, make sure you distribute your negative. Okay? So we have a negative 3x squared and an x squared, which would be negative 2x squared. We have a, well, the next, uh, this would be negative 2, negative 2x. And then we would add the coefficients, which would be negative 5 and positive 2, which is negative 3. All right. And then for D, so we have 2x minus 3x. Since we're subtracting, distribute the negative. So it's minus x squared plus 2x minus 4. So we have 2x and negative x squared. That would just be, oh, we can't add those together because they don't have the same variable. So uh, that would just be x squared. So we have negative x squared. Then we have 2x minus 3x and positive 2x. So 2 and 2, that'd be 4 minus 3. So that would just be plus x. And then we'd have minus 4. OK, so those really aren't too bad, right? So um, I would like you guys to go ahead and try and do these exercises on your own, and then we'll, um, and then uh, that should give you enough practice to to do the homework. 
which should be very similar to this. So um, adding and subtracting is really nothing that you haven't done before. We're just combining like terms. You just have to be sure um, right here, especially when you're subtracting, that you distribute your negative sign, which will change the sign of every term inside inside your uh, parentheses. So um, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in class.